what's up? Yesterday was the craziest day of my entire life. Still really shaken up and I like don't know how to handle myself. I got kidnapped and oh my god, I'm just like still. So I need to just start the story. Well, first off, I want to say that yesterday after it happened, my first instinct was to come home and film a story time video and tell you all what happened. And I tried to. I tried to do that, but I was way too anxious. I was jittery and freaking out. I couldn't keep myself together. So finally, I, I slept. I'm feeling calmer. I'm still a little anxious. And I'm going to tell you what happened. As a lot of you guys know, I live out in LA and I do YouTube full time as my job. I'm in school as well irrelevant information. YouTube income is very unpredictable. So I also babysit on the side for a little extra money. I babysit like four families out in LA. Some more than others. I, some I see I'm closer to and, and some I'm not. So one family that I'm not that close to, um, but I do babysit for periodically, told me that a friend of theirs was looking for someone to babysit for them. They told me they recommended me and just to call him and discuss. So I called the guy, we had a brief conversation, he asked if I could babysit on Wednesday. So it was three days later, he asked me if I could come in and babysit. So I said yes. Wednesday rolls around and I'm supposed to be at his place to babysit at 11 o'clock. I leave at like 10.30 because I think the place is closer than it actually is. But by the time I get in my car and I turn the GPS on, I realize that it's like 40 minutes away. His house is in the middle of fucking nowhere. Which at the time, it didn't matter. Like I wasn't freaked out because I was just going to babysit. So I finally get to the house, I park, I knock on the door, ring the doorbell, and the who I thought was supposed to be the dad comes to the door. I didn't noticed this at the time it didn't it just like didn't mean anything to me obviously just like the house being in the middle of nowhere I wasn't suspicious so I didn't think anything of it but this guy is ripped like he is probably the most intimidating manliest guy I've ever seen yay you're here come on in so he invites me in and we start talking getting to know each other he's asking me about like where I live where I'm from school all of that stuff and then as the conversation continues he starts asking me really intrusive questions not we just met each other questions and I did feel uncomfortable but I tend to just sort of go with the flow because people are weird and so I was like just going along with it but I felt really uncomfortable and he was getting like very, very, very intrusive with what he was asking me. You smell delicious, oh my god, what are you wearing? It's the best, it's to die for. Ugh, mm, come on. I was getting really uncomfortable with the questions that he was asking me, so I changed the subject. I was like, where's your kid? I, I should probably start babysitting. And this is when it got really, really, really fucking weird. He looks at me and, and he says to me, I don't have a kid, but you seem like a really lovely girl, and I would really, really appreciate if you stayed. And it wasn't like, I appreciate if you'd stay, but feel free to go. It was like, I, you're staying. <laughs> By the way, where is your daughter? I should probably start babysitting, right? Oh, Christina's at the market with my partner. They're picking up new flowers, you know, for the dining room. There's nothing like tulips to freshen up the place. But they'll be back, and we will leave the two of you together, and you can babysit. My heart's racing. I have never been so scared in my entire life, but I'm trying to keep my cool because I feel like if I'm if I freak out, then like he might freak out. I'm sitting on the couch trying to keep my cool, and he goes to the kitchen to get me a glass of water. And you'd think at this point I would make a run for it when he was gone, but I was actually really, really thirsty. He comes back from the kitchen with a bottle of vodka and a glass, and he's and he hands it to me and he, tell, he says, "Drink it, drink it." Here's your water. And, if you're interested, some fresh cookies that I baked this morning, they're coconut rum balls. Shh. Don't tell your mom. I said no to him. I was like, I'm not 21 years old. I drove here. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you want me to drink this, but no, I'm not going to drink this. Those look delicious, but I have a gluten intolerance. Thank you, though. After I told him I wasn't going to drink the alcohol, he was upset. And he, he looks at me, and he starts lurching forward like, he, like he's going to attack me. Okay, well then I'm just going to wrap these babies right back up then. Okay. Oh, jeez! I am so sorry. Did I hurt you? No, it's okay. <sighs> Such a clumsy bitch. <laughs> but luckily, right when he was going to attack me, either I think it, it was his watch. I was so disoriented. I didn't even know. I, I'm not even sure. His watch or his nail or something scratches against my arm and I start bleeding. And, and he starts freaking out. And, he, and he's like, I don't want any evidence. I don't want there to be blood stains on my couch. You, we need to get you a band-aid. We need to get you a band-aid. Did I do that? 
Did oh. I do that to your arm? No. I am so sorry. No, it's been there for a while. Well, why isn't it covered? Oh, honey, you need to cover that up. Germs, no. Germs, go. Let's put a band-aid on this boo-boo. You'd think that I would have made an escape for it then when we got up to go get a band-aid, but I have this weird thing about blood. It just makes me, like, really uneasy. So I went upstairs with him to get a band-aid. <laughs> take care of the situation and then afterwards I asked him if I could use his bathroom because I needed a minute to figure out my strategy what I was gonna do to get out of this situation and luckily he said yes I go into the bathroom I lock the door I'm, I'm in the bathroom freaking out pacing back and forth crying trying to figure out what to do I decide I'm gonna make a run for it I'm gonna open the door and I'm going to sprint so I go to open the door, and it won't open. It's not locked from the inside, not from my side, it's locked from the outside. Or there's something barricading the door, or it's him against the door, I don't know. I'm, I'm shaking, and I'm, I'm, I'm twisting, and I'm pushing, and I can't open the door. Oh, is this jammed? People say that before you die, you get this, if you're in a drastic situation, you get this rush of adrenaline, and you, you could basically lift a car. I didn't know that that was actually a real thing until this moment. I never had so much adrenaline before. I slammed my body against the door. It flew open. Oh. <sighs> I ran past him. I ran down the stairs. I was like dripping. I ran to my car. I got in my car and I drove. I drove and I did not look back. Guess what? My husband just called. He and Christina are stuck in traffic and are not going to make it. So here's $140 for today. Plus, I threw in a little extra because of the change of plans. But you know what? I think Christina's gonna love you. Can you do it tomorrow? Yeah, I'm free after two. How about next Monday? Free after two then too. Perfect. Let's do it. I'll walk you out. Cool. I don't know what would have happened if I didn't get out of that situation. I'm just so, so thankful that I did and that I can share the story with you guys. <laughs> To manager Katie, what's up? Oh, my AdSense was low this month? Shit. Yeah, that's not good. Well, I can think of a video that will get a lot of views. Okay, talk to you soon. Thank you guys for watching this video. Since I went through such a traumatizing situation, it would be really awesome if you all subscribed. I upload videos every Thursday. Also, leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get it to 30,000. I could really use it. Thank you. Bye.